Salina senior soccer player Alyssa Sheriff was allowed to graduate early so that she could go on a mission trip to Haiti where she could help out at an orphanage. Andy has more in this FCA Spotlight. We built benches for a discipleship program up the mountain and we built 13 of those all week and um, um, on the last day we brought them up to um, the house dad's discipleship program up the mountain and when we went up there before we brought the benches they were sitting on sticks um, on the ground and then when we brought them the benches they were fit in like 10 people on every bench so there was like almost 100 people there when we came and we handed out um, little bags and they had soap, toothbrush, toothpaste and a little toy and we brought soccer balls to them. Going into it I never really liked kids because I thought they were brats but um, the kids really, um, they really, they're really sweet and um, it doesn't matter. They don't know what you've done in your life or who you are until you come there and it's just like a fresh start for someone to know you and they just love you wholeheartedly and I don't know. I've never seen them so much love before and when I was leaving um, we pr the kids prayed in Creole for us and then we um, then Fennell said it was hug time so we got hugs and this one little boy he made an impact on me his name was Clifford and the first couple of days we just played soccer together and then the last couple of days he would hold my hand and walk around with me and before we went to prayer time he would he grabbed my hand and he took me to his bedroom and he said I have something for you I said okay and he got on top of his bed and he grabbed an English dictionary and um, he was looking from Creole to English and he had five letters for me um, in English and then I wrote him a letter back and by the time he said it was hug time to the time I got on the truck he gave me seven hugs and I just bawled and I didn't want to leave him. Wow, great stuff. Thank you, Andy. Lots more FCA events that you can be a part of this month. One more week to sign up for the all-night volleyball tournament at Grand Lake YMCA. Also a special coaches chalk talk with NCAA champion coach Kevin Templeton. April 3rd is the Good Friday 5K at the Allen County Fairgrounds. And then April 11th and 12th, Olympic bronze medalist Nate Carr will be in town for a wrestling clinic and the banquet. Contact Andy or check out district8fca.org for more info.